Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. As you might have seen, Shot Darts have had a summer launch and it's for their new Americana range. They very kindly sent me the darts, so in this video I'm going to be having a look at the Gator, another very nice looking set. So let's check them out. I'm reviewing the 22 gram version, the 90% tungsten, they're also in 23, 24, 25 gram in steel tip, 18 and 20 gram in soft tip and they retail for £84.95. So as you can see it comes in the shop slimline cardboard packaging and once again they've got some nice artwork on the box. On the back you've got a little bit of info about the darts and the idea behind the theme. And inside you've got this foam inset holding everything in place and the darts come supplied with the tau carbon in between stems and the small standard shape gator flights. The darts fit with a black coated point. It's a straight barrel style but you've got this front taper and that's got a thin ring grip on it and it's got a black titanium coating which contrasts nicely to the exposed silvery tungsten parts but the main part of the dart is this kind of wide rounded ring gator grip and it looks as if it should be super aggressive but when you actually feel it it actually feels quite a, a smooth kind of feeling grip um, probably because the, the rings are so rounded but there's no like sharp sticky edges on it so think that's uh, probably why so it may be better for some people like that it's actually got a very nice feel kind of feels like lots of little bobbles but we'll have a close look at that just now and it's fitted with the tau carbon in between stems and the gator small standard flights so at the very front you've got a tapered uh, smooth section and that what I thought was a ring grip is actually a very fine micro shark style grip it's always a little bit hard when i look at it on the other section because the strong lights i have tend to like blur out the definition sometimes and then you've got a smooth band and then you've got this interesting grip it almost looks like animals eyes looking at you <laughs> it's kind of weird when you look at it in close up but as you can see they're quite wide curved rings and then you've got these kind of circular and square notches cut through but in between each wide ring you've got a kind of a flat ring and groove part but uh, interesting looking grip like I say but it's not as grippy as it looks and then as you get to the end of the bowl you've got a smooth tapered section with the shot logo but there you go, that's the super close look at the shot gator darts. The darts fit with a black coated 28mm point, there's a small smooth tapered section at the front, that's 2.5mm, then you've got the tapered mini shark style grip section that's 8.5 millimeters a silvery band of three millimeters then the bulk of the barrel is this kind of chunky rounded ring grip with the scooped lateral sections cut through it that's 30 millimeters then a small tapered section on the end that's smooth that's four millimeters length 48 millimeters width seven millimeters <laughs> twenty two point zero seven grams twenty two point zero seven grams again and twenty two point zero six grams full set up twenty three point six four grams here's the balance with nothing attached and with the supplied setup and this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights. The grip is a little bit curious. It didn't feel so grippy when I was just holding it, but when I was throwing it, it felt more grippy. So it's one of them grips that may depend on how you hold it. So I've given it seven to air on the side of caution, but it could be a little bit less. It's 
seem to be flying quite smooth through the air, which I'm really surprised with that grip. I thought it would be spinning like crazy. But like I said before, when you run your fingers along it, when it goes over the silvery parts, it doesn't really feel massively grippy. But when you're holding it in your hand, I think your flesh kind of sits in the little grooves a little bit more. So I think what you're feeling is more of a cross-sectional grippiness than a lengthwise grippiness. So there's definitely some grip there, but it releases out the fingers nice and easy. So quite a nice, pleasant dart to throw actually. But my only bug bear for me personally is I'm holding it a little bit further up than where my natural grip sits, just so I can get a feel of that. And it's because of that taper. <laughs> so I think personally, I would have got rid of that taper, made it a bull nose and made that uh, nice grip go a little bit further to the nose. That's just me. level five champion <laughs> but yeah I like the feel of the grip it kind of has elements of the old shot infinity three darts which had a, a very nice grip and that was quite a unique style and also kind of a mix between that and the Vox Jagger but not as aggressive as that but uh, it does have a nice feel overall but like I said if it was a bit closer to the nose I think I'd prefer it even more but the length of the dart, quite a nice one for me, and also the chunkiness as well. So I think it's one that I'll probably like the more I start throwing with it. Uh, they fly very nice from the middle, and it also feels nice to be fully on that grip. A very nice balance there because it's not a really long dart. It's, I know it's 48 mil, but there's quite a lot machined out because of that grip. So <laughs> two double tops, but they do fly nice through the air, which, like I said, kind of surprising with that grip. Oh, there we go, treble one champion. Oh, but I think it's going to be fine for front and mid grippers and probably rear grippers as well. But if you're a front gripper, I think you might want to move up a little bit so you can get onto that grip. Definitely for mid grippers, though, you get the full effect of it. Um, last two quite nice through the air there maybe just a little bit more spin than it was on the other grips but might not be for you if you're a natural rear gripper I think it's just the way I release it oh I've got a treble <laughs> the first one that I threw went a bit skew whiff when it came at me and but that one that hit the treble was very nice. Another treble from the rear grip. <laughs> Is that another one? No, no, it's just under. I think I'm going to switch to rear grip from now on. <laughs> but yeah, quite a nice, unique feel and grip. But like I said, I think it's got more cross-sectional grippiness.
Oh, you bugger. I thought that last one was going to go in, but it seemed to drift. <laughs> oh, well. There you go. That's the shot gator. Really nice, uh, unique grip on these. Um, definitely felt much better throwing them than when I was just like feeling it. Um, even when you're doing that, you think, well, it's not that grippy, but then as soon as you hold it for a throw, you just get kind of lots of little cross cut edges. So it's kind of deceiving, but my only bugbear is that taper. Now I have to move up my grip a little bit to get onto that nice grip. So for me, could have done without the taper. I think personally, I'd prefer it if they'd have got rid of that, put a bull nose and made the grip go right to the nose. I think it would have been just perfect then. But it'll be a dart that can suit whether you're a front, mid or rear gripper. But I think anyone that's gripping that unique grip definitely getting the best part of the dart and I think for mid grippers it's probably best overall certainly was nice balance there so another nice dart from shot with quite a unique grip and fancy machining so I'll leave you with the gallery so you can have a close look at them if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do so and I'll see you in the next one happy darting